I don't really think there's a man alive. At least men over, people, males over 18 who haven't been ghosted. And if you say you haven't been, you're a liar. Let's hop into it. Now, I will want to give you guys a little bit of context. You see, I, I do know this girl. I have, I've known her for about two, maybe three years. And, you know, it, it, you know, I just shoot my shot, shot my shot, you know. And, I mean, we had this big elaborate plan and stuff. And this is what's going to happen to a lot of you guys when you're going forward. I know my subscriber base is a lot of younger guys. Maybe you're in your, your 12, 13, 14, 15s, maybe. This is going to happen a lot. If it already isn't happening, it's going to happen a lot. I'm going to let you guys know. It's okay. It's okay to be rejected, you know. Not everybody likes the tough stuff that you bring to the table. Not every, everybody has their own preference. I'm sure that some of you guys have rejected some people before. And I need you guys to understand, you will be rejected. That's it's, it's just that. But I need you guys to understand that, I mean, it's okay. It is what it is. It's, it's it's a fact of life. It's going to happen. And rejection rate among men is a lot higher than it is for females. That's, well, at least that's in my opinion. Anybody you want to prove me wrong, you can drop it down in the comments down below. But in my opinion, rejection rate for men is a lot higher than females. And that's because men do all the pursuing. We are the guys who go out and we find whoever we want, the girls that we want. Rarely in a time a girl will go ahead and talk to a guy because she likes him or whatever and that's and that's rare there's some girls that do it i'm not discounting that but most of the time the guys are the ones who have to make the first move so that brings me to the conclusion that guys are the ones who get rejected the most and that's one of the major major reasons why i come to that conclusion what you we guys need to do is understand that we have a lot of mental strength you guys got to develop a lot of mental strength and first that starts with accepting the possibility that you will be rejected i'm not saying that that's going to be your first and foremost thought whenever you're going through a situation whenever you're going through a situation a girl the best thing to do is have some confidence and you got to build your own confidence and we're gonna i'm gonna share how i built my own confidence because i used to not have a lot of confidence when talking to people and girls in general i did not have any confidence when doing it but now i feel like i can hold a conversation with a girl even through text or in real life and and kind of help have my own i've watched a lot of these red pill videos a lot of stuff in there i don't agree with a lot of stuff that they do some of the tips that they have are very very informative and you gotta really sift through the information take out the stuff that you want but this particular lady she's a very fine and very attractive young young lady like nice any guy will want to, you know, be involved with her or whatever. But, you know, I tried. I shot, I shot my shot. And we were supposed to spend some time together or whatever. And the, the said day that comes, didn't get a message, didn't hear from her the entire day. And I'm going to let you guys know that's going to happen a lot. It, it really is. And this is what you do in that time. You don't have... A lot of people won't appreciate the time that you set out for them basically a lot of guys have to work on themselves first and that's what i have done for the last two years i haven't dated in about two or three years and on that time i've worked on improving myself and my mental stability right now i have three sources of income the other two are not very high i, I will admit that but i have three sources of income i have so much other stuff to do if i if i open up my schedule to fit you in then that means i'm interested that's just that's just plain out of it i've taken out girls and stuff and i was in, and i've been interested in those those sort of connections i've in, been interested in friendships and stuff like that and i've opened up that and it's a very disappointing when you open up uh, uh your your schedule for somebody and they don't take you seriously and guys guys it's gonna happen a lot it's gonna happen but what you guys need to do is that now whenever you have a situation with a girl like that and she goes to you then you can always fill that spot with something else that's one way i didn't feel bad about the entire situation when that happened i was wondering what was going on and what did i do 
I didn't dig it that much. Instead, I went and did something else. Yesterday, that time that we were supposed... Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before. Some day, bro, I don't know. Um, I don't even know anymore. What, when, when that time that we were supposed to spend together, I went and I did other things. I cleaned my room, fed my dog, did a little bit of dog training. I went on the internet and I worked on my community. I did a lot of different stuff that one day that I would have spent with her. And, you know, do I feel bad about it? I feel disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and feel bad about it. Because at the end of the day, if she wanted to be, if she was interested, she would have come. And I feel like you guys are going to dodge a lot of bullets if stuff like this happens. Because if she's willing to do that here in the beginning stages, what's going to happen when you do keep fighting? And you're going to waste a lot of time and energy and sometimes money on people that do stuff like this and this isn't just for girls this isn't just for you know your relationship this is for everybody if you have friends and you are continuously opening up your schedule for them and they're not coming through for you bro you just gotta do something else fit that spot with something else like i am I'm, I'm, it's not very easy because sometimes mentally you're you're thinking why does this person want to want to talk to me why does this person not want to hang out with me is there something wrong with me and I can guarantee you these are very normal thoughts. These are very normal stuff that you're going to have to go through in your mind. But at the end of the day, I'm going to let you know, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You just got to reevaluate your time. If that person isn't for you, there's going to be somebody else for you. And let's talk just specifically for dating, right? There's over, there's well over 500 million more women on the earth than there are men. I need you guys to sink that in. There's still five. If every man on earth had a woman, there would still be 500 million plus women that are single. So just put that into perspective, right? There's so much more to choose from. And yes, I know that you might want this one girl or whatever, but what's the sense of stressing over this one girl and you destroy opportunity with somebody else who could be better, who could make you feel like they care about you. And, you know, that's I feel like that's that's some opportunity cost right there that you guys can just hone. If you if you don't dwell on a situation like a girl ghosting you, if she goes to you, then take that time and put it into something else. You can take that time and put it into somebody else, somebody who wants to be with you and I, I don't know why it took me so long to learn this i don't know why it took me so long to to, to be different we want that person and, and we think that it's them but it really isn't it could be somebody else out there that wants to spend a lot of time with us so guys like if you get ghosted put your time into something else like if and if, if then that spot that's this is why it's important to have kind of black backup plans in case something doesn't pan out if you want to go on a date and she does not show up then go and spend the time with your best friend go and spend the time learning something else for me as i said i spent the time on my computer feeding the dog with my community etc like there's so much more you guys can do with that time and Please don't waste your time on, on, on useless stuff. Like when you realize that people are not, not there with you, that's, that's about it. I'm going to try my best to structure these videos some more. Cause I kind of just ranted on, I, I don't want to say ranted. I just kind of rattled on off the top of my head. Um, but next time I'm going to try to do some more scripts and stuff like something, something more engaging as you can say. But as I said, I think i brought up some good points if you guys disagree with me or you agree with me go ahead and put that down in the description down below let me know if you guys have been ghosted down in the comments i should be seeing every single person commenting and saying that you were ghosted because chances are you were ghosted but anyways um thank you guys for joining me thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate it have a great day have a great week remember to go after all your goals and your dreams I'm going to be talking about next week, men's mental health, something that a lot of people are not aware of. For some reason, we are human, guys. We are we got to protect our our emotions and it's nothing wrong with sharing your emotions. I'm, I'm just saying. But there is something wrong with over. Overusing your emotions, I should say, or overly expressing your emotions. Men are supposed to be in touch with their emotions. Men are supposed to be in control of their emotions. 
It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to be disappointed. It's okay to be angry. But you got to control that. You got to own that. You got to take that ball of emotion and just be like, yeah, this is mine. And this is who I am. Feel me? Anyway, see you all next time. Peace.